Our Call 6 Investigates team has new developments surrounding those medical records dumped in a recycling bin last week. We've been working for you since last Friday when we alerted authorities to the problem, and we're now learning new details about those records. Call 6 Investigates' Rafael Sanchez joins us live with the details. Rafael. Uh, Todd, good afternoon. Whether it's that big blue container behind me or walk with me, this one over here, these are not the appropriate places to find medical records. In fact, thanks to our viewer, Tammy from Indianapolis, she alerted us and we alerted authorities. And this is what happened. We had to call them, and that's why Metro Police was right here to make sure that the medical records found in these bins will, were secure last week when she found tons and tons of paper that should have never been in the public realm. Now, the Attorney General's office today began began looking at those records or analyzing at least three boxes to determine where do they come from and who is behind this medical records dump. I can report that some of these records appear to belong to Dr. Thomas James Moore, who had a practice in Carmel up until 2009. Now, it's unclear how his records ended up in these bins in Indianapolis. Well, we hope to get consumers' information as soon as possible because, of course, we want them to know if, if their records have been at risk and if they may be at heightened risk for identity theft or fraud. Um, right now, we're going to be looking through the files for um, who the records belong to, who may be responsible for the breach, so that we can get um, the information to consumers as quickly as possible. Yeah, and right now at 5 o'clock, there are currently 24 cases involving thousands of files from mainly healthcare providers, one real estate agent, and one accountant. Now, we've posted online the, the names of those previous providers whose records were illegally trashed. If you're wondering, so why were these records still in circulation? Well, doctors, medical providers have to keep your records for at least seven years. The next step in the story is not only to find out why these records were dumped into these bins, is also to tell you how to get your records. Now, as soon as I get that information, the name of the doctor, the years involved, and the amount of documents, I will walk you through the process of getting back the records that the state may have in its custody. It's still too early to do that, Todd, but as soon as we get all of that information in the next day or so, I'll bring that to you here on the news at 5 o'clock. All right, a lot of people probably wanting to hear that as well. Raphael, thank you.